So whenever you go to a Google search, some days there is a Google Doodle up here, which is different from this Google logo. And if you look into the Google, Do Google Doodle archives, you can look and see all the Google Doodles that existed before. But back in December of 2017, they came up with this coding doodle for kids to celebrate the 50th anniversary of kids. So I'm going to skip through some of these tutorials and just show you the fastest possible way, the shortest possible route of completing them. First one's really easy, and you're just moving forward two spaces. Okay. Second one, a little more difficult, still pretty easy. You're basically moving forward twice. You're going to turn to the right and then move forward twice more. Okay. So once again, this one's an easy one. The next one is going to incorporate a loop. So throughout all these, I'm going to show you the shortest route. Because what's going to happen is you can go back and take a look at your scores. I'm going to skip this loops tutorial. Look up here in the top left corner, there's a map, level map, and it shows you if you got the shortest solution, how many steps it took to get there. Okay? So we're going to move to level three. Once again, we got a nice little loop here. You're looping. You're going to go forward twice, and then you're going to turn right. Okay, you're going to loop through it four times. I'm going to run it. Now, the next one, level four, gets a little bit more difficult. And I'll be honest, the first time I went through it, um, I got it right, but didn't get the shortest solution right away. It took me a little bit. What you're going to do is you're going to have an outer loop, and then you're also going to have an inner loop. Okay? Inside the inner loop, you're going to move forward twice and then you're gonna to turn to the right. In the outer loop, you're just gonna have two turns to the right. We're gonna go ahead and run this and see what happens. So what you end up doing is, you're really turning around 270 degrees in order to make the total turn when you finally get to this space right here. Okay? So Next to last one, I almost said the last one. All right, this one is a little bit more difficult as well. All right, so it's still going to have an inner loop and an outer loop. Okay, and we're going to move to the right twice. We're going to turn right in the inner loop, and then we're also going to turn right in the outer loop. And if you look at it, what's going to happen is when he finally gets to his original starting spot, He's going to do a 180, and he's going to turn all the way back and come the way that he took those last few steps. So as he gets here, he's going to do a 180 and turn all the way around, so that way he can go ahead and continue that loop around the circle. So that extra turn to the right helps you, in a combination with this turn, helps you get the 180-degree turn. The last one is by far the most difficult. The the ones we've already accomplished, so the shortest solution here. What we want to do is we're still the third one in a row. We're going to have an inner loop, an outer loop, but you're really only going to add things inside the inner loop. So we're going to add three times and then three times to the right, three times forward, and then you're going to turn to the right. Go ahead and check it out. So you may take a few extra like steps. Don't really worry about that. That's what we expected. But this is actually the shortest solution, the least amount of steps. You could add a really, really, really long solution, and that's fine. But it's pretty cool being able to do it in the least amount of steps possible. We want to be lazy about this with the least amount of steps possible, rather than work really hard. And we finally got into the solution here. At the very end, that's the carrot cake that you've earned. And this is a cool little way to celebrate coding. Google has Google Doodle. Um, we use this as an example of just beginning of programming, getting kids interested in it, as well as teaching them loops, but also a way to transition now to something bigger.